Hi everyone, I'm Nathan from the team at CNC Router Parts, and like many of you, we like to make things. This is the first in the series of design and make videos we'll be sharing on our channel. If you have suggestions for something you'd like to see, please leave those in the comments below. Let's start Fusion 360. As you can see, Fusion 360 is available here on the Macintosh, as well as the Windows operating system. Fusion 360 is a relatively new offering from Autodesk. It's the company that's world famous for AutoCAD and to a lesser extent Inventor. Fusion is a direct descendant of Inventor with a thoroughly rethought user experience and delivered in what I'll call a hybrid client cloud model. As a user, the relevance of Fusion is that it's extremely modern, affordable, free for most, full featured CAD tool with the added benefit of not just being a CAD tool. In fact, it has several complementary capabilities largely organized as workspaces. You'll find the most interesting is to include CAM workspace. If you're familiar with HSM works, you'll be very excited to check this out. So that's the tool we'll be using. Check it out on our Fusion 360 product listing at cncrouterparts.com or Fusion's website at fusion360.autodesk.com. Both links are in the description. Let's model our project. To give us a jump start, I drew and scanned a drawing of the wine glass holder I'm thinking of. I used a caliper and measured the neck of a few wine bottles, as well as the basin stem of a few wine glasses to fill in the key measurements. To help organize this design better, I'll create a new subfolder in my CNC Maker project called Wine Accessories. And from Wine Accessories, let's save this empty document and call it Wine Glass Holder. Where we're saving this file is actually the Autodesk Fusion Cloud. The cloud offers several benefits, including the ability to work from multiple computers without transferring the design, as well as integrated versioning control, which allows you to open or revert back to any previously saved version of the file. And that's a really handy feature. Now let's set up the modeling workspace. I'm going to turn off design history for this video since we will not require a parametric design. And since I measured in inches, I'll change the units for this design to Imperial. Of course, if you find yourself always changing these settings, you can change your global defaults in File Preferences. Now let's bring in the rough sketch using Attach Canvas. Within the command, I'll select a face, set the transparency, and select the image for my local file system. And let's zoom in here a little bit and rotate it so that my writing is legible. Now I can use a real simple and powerful function, the calibrate command. Within calibrate I can select two points on my canvas and then enter the real world dimension, four inches in this case. And now my drawing is scaled. In addition to the mouse, you can use a view cube in the upper right hand corner to select views and navigate in three dimensional space. I'm sure by now you've noticed that my sketch is actually just half the wine glass holder. And since the wine glass holder that we're designing is symmetric, we really only need to model one half of it and then mirror it. From the top view, we can use the box primitive command, using our canvas as reference and draw the overall shape to the actual dimensions that we want. In this case, we're looking for four inches by five and a half. With the X and Y dimensions established, we can use the manipulator to increase the thickness of the body to correspond to our material, in this case half of an inch. Now I'll use a sketch circle command, finding the midpoint and creating a circle at 1.4 diameter. And another circle on the other side for the wine glass receiver at 0.83 inches. Using the profiles of the circles I just created, I'll use the extrude command to simultaneously extrude a 3D shape and do an implicit boolean cut against the box. Fusion does this by default when you extrude a profile where the resulting geometry intersects with pre-existing geometry. You can change this in the command window by using new or join instead of the cut operation. Next, I'll create the chamfer that will allow the wine glass base to hang securely from the holder. I think I can afford to eyeball this dimension a little bit, using again the canvas as reference. 
I'm going to pull up the chamfer so it doesn't go quite so far down using the two distances type. Next, I'll create the clearance channel for the wine glass stem. I know that I want the overall clearance to be 0.35 inches. So using the center of the circle profile as reference, we can create a box at half the width and then use the manipulators to pull it to the full clearance width. 0.3 and then zoom in a little more to get the granularity for 0.35. Now I can start adding some fillets. I'll select the outer two edges, and this is another measurement that we'll kind of know it when we see it. it. Looks like 1.2 would be about what I drew, so we'll, we'll go with that. And I think I'll turn off the canvas now. We've gotten all the measurements that we're going to get from that 2D drawing. No one likes sanding fillets on, so we'll go ahead and create them. The main implication for production is that we'll have to use a ball tool to do a good job of these but I think it's totally worth it. So again, another eyeballed measurement. That looks like a bit too much. Maybe 0.15, yeah. And we'll give the top of this chamfer just a little, a little fillet to kind of round into that. Looks a little more finished. And of course, I won't leave my job half done. We'll use the mirror command to create the other half of our wine glass holder. I'll select the body, careful not to get a face, and then I'll use an edge face for the mirror plane. And lastly, I'll join the two mirrored halves together into one body. And to make sure the model looks the part, I'll use the appearance command. Under wood, I should find a bamboo. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now the model's finished. I'll go ahead and save a new version. And next time I'll create the CAM programming that will load on a Benchtop Pro CNC machine and start to cut out wine glass holders. A link to all the source files for this project can be found in the video description.